Hi, this is Cass from Aussie Cass Plays and welcome back to my attempt at another Sims 4 scenario. I'm still working through the starter scenarios, the, the beginner welcome, they call them welcome scenarios because it probably sounds politer than noob, but we're doing the noob scenarios. For those of you who don't know, if you haven't seen the previous scenario, it doesn't really matter. We're going to be in the same neighborhood as the previous scenario, so those Sims will be walking around potentially or may show up as a welcome wagon, who knows. The goal is to do the scenarios and each one is a household in Newcrest. We did this one, which was actually a lot of fun stuck in their shadow. I actually really enjoyed it. There was story. We're going to do this one now. We start with Farah Novelle, an outgoing young adult. And it's basically a learn how to interact socially with other sims, get you out of the house scenario. For your awareness, I started recording this and discovered after about 20 minutes that my microphone wasn't recording. I don't know why, I have fixed it. You have to listen to my voice, but I had to scrap it and start again. So I've already created her a house because I know how much starting funds she gets. So we've got painting level three, we've got cooking level two. Fantastic, love that for us. We are new in town. Farah, a freelance digital artist, has just moved to a new town. She doesn't know anyone. Help her explore her new home, meet some people, and throw the best moving in party ever. Fingers crossed she'll make some lifelong friends along the way. Maybe she'll even meet the sim of her dreams. Ah. So this is the house I downloaded, but I did give it a makeover. It is Innocent Starter Cottage. That name immediately made me suspicious. I was expecting a basement with bodies in it, but it seems actually innocent. There is no basement. It is by Thurid666. That name also makes me think that there will be skeletons in my closet. It's totally innocent. Maybe I'm missing something. The game for this scenario starts far out with 30. So knowing that, because I did already start this, I did upgrade a couple of things and I also changed the flooring in here because I'm a slag for a timber floor. I gave her a better bed. Bed is obviously the most critical thing you can buy your sim. A good quality bed that is upgraded will make your gameplay experience in this game a hundred times better. I replaced her shower with a better shower. We've got a better bath. I gave her a new sink and toilet as well. And I also replaced these two appliances. Those are quality of life improvements I think will really help us. Now it did start us with a laptop and a digital sketch pad and we are already in the career. All right, so this is Farah. I've just added my Kijiko eyelashes that I put on every sim. And then I've got, I think these are Nord skin details. I've got like three or four of them that I pretty much use on every sim as well. She's in the outfits the game gave her. I actually think they did an all right job styling her. I don't like that this shirt is shiny is the only thing. Obviously with the scenarios, the sims have to be styled base game. Given these are like the introductory scenarios, I think you can assume pretty safely that it will be people without packs. Actually, that's cute. Let's quickly run through the rest. I don't think she had any rings on from memory. The Kijiko eyelashes sit in the ring slot. So if you have a ring on, the eyelashes get the ring texture, which is not ideal, especially if it's an eyeball ring. So she is active. She is outgoing and an art lover. Outgoing and art lover, that matches her career. That matches the fact that we're here to make friends. We are on friend of the world. Active is also cool. I think Nova was active as well. I don't know what it is about these scenario girlies. Maybe they're all active. So the likes and dislikes they gave her. She likes blues and pop music. She likes pink, blue and purple, which is why when I did the house makeover on the interior, I actually changed some of the wall colors and she likes painting and fitness. So all of that checks out. So I guess we'll buy some other decor. She also wants to buy an instrument. So we might pop that there. She's an active girly. She likes purple. Let's give her a water bottle. I did delete. There was a fireplace here. I did delete it. I didn't want to be dealing with that. It was one of those really ugly base game fireplaces as well, which again, no shade on the creator of this lot. It's a starter. Everything in a starter house is ugly. It's just how it works. Because it's a thunderstorm, she needs to go out and meet five sims, but I actually need to, oh, hello, because I don't want her getting electrocuted. I'm gonna have her stay inside. I'll have her take a gig from her freelance career if the welcome wagon shows up, awesome. But we are getting a call from Yuku Panipo. Panipo? I actually did look up how to say it after I recorded the last scenario and I forget. I moved him and Nova's friend into her house after I recorded the last scenario, because I wanted them to be in the neighborhood. Nova was flirting with this guy, but it didn't get very far. They were hitting it off really well. And I was like, yes. So I moved him in. He's a mermaid. He will hate living here. I did also modify their house a little to make it a bit bigger, add a second bedroom and give them a pool. So at least he could mermaid around in the pool. He's called up to say, howdy neighbor. Welcome to the neighborhood. My name is Yuku Pinipo and I live just down the road. I'm sure we'll get a chance to meet in person very soon. He does live just down the road. 
So as you can see, this has changed a lot. Like I put a fence around it. And basically because I moved in two Sims and I moved in the friend via inviting him to move in, uh, we got his money. So that was an extra 20,000 Somalians that I sank into that house. It's fine. I figured a bit of time's passed, but I want the beginner scenarios ideally to all be in this one neighborhood. So even though she's got cooking level two, I decided we'll start with a garden salad. It is traditional in my games that the first meal a sim cooks always a garden salad, just because I don't want her burning the kitchen down because we can't afford to replace everything. The other thing is because I'm actually not playing in a fresh save. We're going to get bills tomorrow. Ew, no, don't, no, don't, ew, no. Un unhygienic. This is why Sims need adult supervision. I'm going to have her grab a job. Maybe a band tour venue poster. Now this one pays more, but you have to pay for each of the three icons you need to create for it. You have to spend 150 to make 370. This one I'm hoping it will just be one. So I'm going to have her chat with her client after she's eaten. Assuming she will finish eating. 75. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, the storm's blown over. That's actually much quicker than what happened last time. So I might have her finish chatting with the client and then we'll take her out for an evening walk. You know, she's an outgoing girly. She wants to get to know the neighborhood. Welcome to town. Have you visited the park yet? It's so pretty this time of year, you think? We just had a hellacious summer thunderstorm, but okay. Oh, you're bored. <laughs> Lovely. Now I do have the first impressions mod. Uh, we think she's weird. She thinks we're fun, but yet she's bored. We also need to socialize 10 times and get to know. The problem with these rinks is you can't social. Oh my goodness. Wait. I don't know who this Sim is, but oh my goodness. Also, how is my fitness? Holy, who is this Sim? I mean, she's doing flips, nearly stacking it, but seriously respect. My supposedly active Sim has no fitness skill. Look, they gave her cooking and painting. I guess that's something. Annoyingly, though, you can't socialize on the ice skating rink, which is why we're here. Ooh, Kiari. I like Kiari. She's nice. Let's go talk to her. Of course, I'm totally influencing who I talk to based on my knowledge of The Sims. But hey, she is an active Sim. Have I visited the park yet? I literally was just there. Oh, wait, the weather's back. I took advantage. I made hay while the sun did not shine, but I might actually have her work on her job. We'll crack open this fossil. Oh, we've got some hilariously tiny T-Rex arms. I guess we'll pop that there. So let's, okay. I mean, that's a thing that you did. Yeah, of course it doesn't meet their quality standards. Look at it. Approved, hooray. We made some amount of money. I actually wasn't looking. The band loves Farrah's work. Ticket sales for the concert are already trending upwards and pointing towards a swift sellout. Not only did they include a bonus payment, they've invited her to come chill on the two of us before the show. How cool would it be if that actually meant something? Now it is rebate day. I probably should have held off and bought all of this stuff once rebate day started, but I didn't. What I might do, since she's an active sim, I need to spend for rebate day 500. I might see what $500 workout gear I can get for her. But I could get her one of these things, I guess. So she can play basketball if she wants to do something active on the lot. And we get the little tick for rebate day and we can move on with our lives. Alrighty, $65. All right, is there anyone in the neighborhood I can say hi to? I'd rather sort of meet Sims organically. I mean, we could go so hard at Victor Fang, I guess. Welcome to town. Yeah, everyone's saying that. Oh, check out that mohawk. I really want to be friends with this lady. How how cool is she? All right, materialistic. Well, we're done talking to you. Oh, love that Hector. Beautiful, lovely form. She's so desperately trying to meet people. She's coming across as very needy, to be honest. Oi, get off the ice. I'm gonna have to take it somewhere else. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to have her leave the neighborhood. I know this is supposed to be exploring the neighborhood, but this thing is really annoying because the Sims won't stop interacting with it. Can we talk to the poor uh, staff member? Alice Lewis. Hi, yes, I've visited the park. I'm right there. Let's get to know her. Now I do have Twisted Mexi's, I think it's better pie charts or something. It's a Twisted Mexi mod that lets you search for social interactions if you're wondering. That is not, again, something in the game. Although it should be. Hey, did you make me an iced tea as well? Thanks. Oh wait, are we hot? We are. Let's get changed. I don't need to die. She was so busy socializing that she didn't get changed in time. Get changed. 
Thank you. Okay, it's gone away now. Good. I almost sent a burn to death, you guys. Shortest scenario failure ever. There's no one around. Is this like a retirement neighborhood? What's going on? We need to introduce ourselves to one more sim. Reedy Coombs, another elder. Come on, go, go, go before she leaves. Hi. All right. This town is so much larger than your neighborhood. You should go exploring. If you want to meet new people, the gym and the bar are great places to check out. If you want some company, let me know and I'll tag along, sweetie. You're an elder and I'm going to the gym. All right. I've downloaded a reno of Movers and Shakers. I'm building out Newcrest with houses from the gallery as I'm doing these scenarios and I'm also I'm replacing the EA builds in the world as I visit them. So this one is literally the most popular Movers and Shakers on the gallery. It is by Linz606. All right, so we've got Bearberry Black here. We've got Nalani and we've got Juniper Grove, who is the gym trainer. Want a lift, run, punch? Awesome. My gym is the perfect place to get a wicked workout and meet other gym rats. Nothing like an exercise buddy to keep you on top of your game. Bearberry is the paparazzi that was stalking Judith Ward when I was playing the previous scenario. There's a celebrity here somewhere. I have to keep my eye out because you guys know I love to get myself hands on an autograph. Partly for decor reasons, but mostly because it gives me something I can get a and then sell for enough money to pay for the bills for a week. I actually really like this gym. Let's have a super quick look while she's doing that. Look at these chairs. What pack do they come with? Those are really cute. I have, no, is that Eco Lifestyle maybe? What pack do those come with? They are so cute. I actually really love the pops of color in this place. Really cute. So we'll go downstairs. There's like the change rooms and stuff and a spa, like a sauna room. And up here we have the weights room and treadmills and stuff. I should come up and say hi to these Sims. We have two werewolves. Werewolves are quite often active. It's not surprising. There's also a yoga room, but because this is a gym lot, not a spa lot, no one will actually run a yoga session. This wheel is not progressing. Thank you. I'm fitness level two now. I'm going to stop that because I'm actually here to introduce myself to someone. I'll still funny introduction to these Sims. So we have Spria as my gym trainer and we have Oliana. I don't mind Oliana, but she gives me, she could break me with her pinky kind of energy. Uh, Spria is giving me a moodlet solver. This is about where I had played this too before I realized I wasn't recording my mic and it was Bearberry that gave her the moodlet solver and I was deeply concerned by that because he gave me my, put me in the boot of his car and take me to a secluded location energy. <gasps> Nalani. Optional drink moodlet solver. We don't really need to and given that they gave it to me for free I might hang on to it uh let's joke about Martians she's like Martians am I right <laughs> who would think there would be Martians and Nalani's like yeah, no, everyone knows it's six Samians. What would you call someone from Sixum? I would use the climbing machine, but I don't really care about the climbing skill in this. Of course, <laughs> it is quite funny though. Uh, all right, I need to tell more jokes. Let's tell a joke about him falling off the climbing machine. Oh, Lou, go to the bathroom, my guy. All right, we've told jokes. We need to work out for an hour. Let's do a friendly introduction. It would be super annoying coming to the gym and then like all these people trying to like socialize with you. So loyal like a go golden retriever. Oh, who was the pet enthusiast? They can't get enough of their animal companions. Oh, let's like a pet enthusiast. She's not a Brindleton Bay Sim, is she? Oh, maybe she is. Go, 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 go. It's Kayla Fleming. Hey, that ticked off the box. That's all we need. All right, get off that. Ah, Makoa's here. I don't have warm, fuzzy feelings towards Makoa because of the things I did to him in my husband swap challenge. To be fair, I think Eliza Pancakes and Makoa, well, if Makoa would stoop to Eliza, I think they would definitely have an affair. They'd give me that energy. Still wants me to drink this moodlet solver, but like I said, I'm going to save it. I don't think there's any reason why I need to. I might have to do another job in the morning, depending on what else they tell me to do. Ah, Brent Hacking's calling. Hey, Farah. I hear you met a lot of people already. A great way to turn these acquaintances into friends is improving your social skills. Work on your charisma, comedy, and mischief skills, and you'll be the most popular sim in town before you know it. Invite a sim to your home. Visit neighbor's residence. Oh, so I have to visit Nova now. Have three friends. I'm not a huge fan of the mischief skill. For kids, they start painting the floor and for adults, they start sabotaging toilets. Weirdly, it says have three friends and it just says you need to be able to track them in the friends panel. I have Supriya in my friends panel already, but she's not counting. So I don't know if that's because she's like my gym trainer and gym trainers don't count. Okay, Supriya wants to go to GeekCon. 
I mean, that is a way to make friends. Let's just say, okay, it's fine. Let's do a funny introduction to the punk lady because I never did get to say hi to her last time. I love that her name is Cheryl, of all things. I feel like Cheryl's not a very punk name. No offense if your name is Cheryl. It just doesn't give me punk energy. Your needs aren't great. Where's the bathroom? It's probably because it's a name I associate with my friend's parents. Whoa, steady on. Order food, we'll get a veggie burger? I could pretend that's breakfast food, right? Argue about GIF pronunciation, it's clearly GIF. Uh, make a joke about pie. Joke about rocket ship woohoo. Is that a flirt interaction? Ultimate gaming test. We have no computer skill. I became friends with Supriya. Like you recognize that, do you? Oh, you do recognize that. Well, there you go. Maybe I just needed to lock it down a little bit more. And I might also buy some swag. Where'd the rocket go? Up there. There it is. I found it, you guys. I found it. Wait, who's this cutie? Kasem Bonma, young adult. All right, we need to do this real quick for the event. Supriya's asking me to be a workout buddy. She's literally right here, but okay. All right, I failed the ultimate gaming test. The minimum score to pass is 70 and she got 30. Honestly, I'm impressed she made it that far. Hush! Emily Snowglow, please. There's something really fun for me about starting in a starter house and then decorating that house with the things like the collectibles. I actually really enjoy that. <laughs> oh, here he is. Not that I'm stalking you or anything. So she did say hi to him. Let's see how they got on. Oh, amazing. Compa oh, I was married. That's a shame. Will you please be quiet? I love how the rocket is there, but also up there. Where have all the good men gone? Or maybe women. I'm not sure. Maybe she's into women. Maybe maybe she's bisexual. I mean, all Sims are kind of pansexual, really, aren't they? Unless you change the settings in Cass. And I can't imagine that they did that for this Sim. Oh, Supriya, what have they done to you? Yeah, no, you should be embarrassed in that outfit. This is obviously her hot weather gear. And I guess she didn't come with a hot weather outfit because that's quite the choice. Somebody knocked on my door. Who's this? Oh, it's Bran. Sure, we'll invite Bran in. Oh, okay. This was enough to invite them into my home. I literally had to click invite in. Uh, you've done what you wanted to do here. Oh, you brought me a present. Or a prezu. Thank you for the prezu. Some starter flowers. Oh, you don't know me at all, Supriya. I thought we were friends. All right, we've got one friend. No, make friends with Bran. The try to make friends is a mod. It's Carl mod. Very good. Means I don't have to constantly click like constant interactions on the wheel. Are we friends yet? Because I need to go visit my neighbor. We are. Excellent. Thank you, Bran. Your service here is greatly appreciated. So let's knock on this door. So we have Yuku Panipo. Oh, Lewis, that was his name. This is the guy I don't like. He's still eating the pizza that he bought, the apology pizza. Which way is the way to the beach? Oh, he's a lifeguard. Come on, Sims team. It's not that there's a problem with this interaction. It's the fact that Sims interactions, they're in entitled case, right? So capitalized letters. This one is not consistent. So it looks like a mod. All right, let's say hello to this guy. How funny it would be if she ended up with Lewis. The reason I don't like him is he and Nova, who's the senior player in this house, they were childhood friends. He kind of low-key bullied, well, high-key bullied her all through quote-unquote university in their backstory and through work to the point where he got fired by his employer because he kept harassing her and calling her names and talking her down. So he was not a good friend. Uh, you want to go out? Actually, I don't actually have to be here anymore. I love that Supriya Delgado of all Sims is the one dragging her out. Yeah, so what, what I was saying about Lewis is he then comes to Nova and is like I need your help you know I'm unemployed and potentially homeless I think because of the way the sims were talking to one another I accidentally chose the good path where she made friends with him and forgave him but I am a girl who holds a grudge <laughs> I wanted to punish this guy but he's actually a good sim like when you look at his traits he would be a good match that being said I'm gonna go to the party with Supriya so we've come to a lounge in Mount Komarebi where we've got an elder completely rocking down on the dance floor and we've got another elder who is her husband it looks like working the bar and there's no one else here why did i come here supriya oh here we go the sims have loaded in ash hajo who is a fan of megumi who i would be like like to be friends with if she was a young adult but she's still a teen and we have naoki supriya is a genius I actually don't really know Supriya Delgado. Bess Sterling is here. I guess we'll say hi to Bess. I don't want to fall into the Bess Sterling money trap again, though. Didn't work out for me with Nova. So apparently with Bess, I looked it up afterwards. 
eventually, if you give her enough lots of a thousand simoleons, she will eventually give you 25,000. Can I attempt an introduction to these guys? She's cute. She looks so bored. Ah, it's Nova's friend Eleanor. Hi, Eleanor. I really would like to get her autograph. Maybe I can't because she's a B-lister. Maybe I'll do funny introductions to everyone. Does that level your comedy skill at all? No, apparently funny introductions are not enough. Oh my God, I just successfully attempted an introduction to this celebrity. I'm not going to imply attraction. I'm pretty sure he's married to Megumi. He is. Now the try to make friends mod is extremely overpowered with celebrities because if I click this, they'll just start talking. It actually forces into Interaction, but I'm not gonna do that because that feels kind of cheaty. Stop talking to him. Go to the bathroom. No, no, no. Stop it. I'm not having a huge amount of luck making that third friend. I want to find a sim that I think would be a good friend for her. Jenna was at GeekCon. Let's do a friendly introduction to her. So I was just spamming funny interactions to try and work on her comedy skill. And she's got so many first impression interactions. I don't know who it is that made her so mad. Is it the sim? Okay, it's the sim we're talking to. No, but we're working on our skill though. Come on, get on that grind set, mindset. Three in the morning, let the pregnant lady go home. Jeez, although we are actually getting close to being friends with her. I don't know why this guy's feeling flirty. I assume he has a crush on his wife or something, which is actually super cute. Invite him to dance. We can all dance together. Woo, we made comedy level two. Good work. How's that charisma coming along? Nah, it's not even close. Let's just focus on making friends with Jenna. I just want to have this tick over to the next thing. And then I'm actually going to send her home because it is like almost dawn. All right, we need to answer the phone. Look, I'm going to go home first. You can call me at home. It's fine. Oh, I can't believe you've just moved here, Farah. You've already made so many friends. I'd love to meet some of them. Want to do a group hangout downtown? Or is there someone you would like to spend some alone time with? She doesn't actually have anyone she'd like to ask out as a thing. I've had her meet a bunch of people. I mean, some of them would probably be cute with a makeover, but all of the ones that I was like, hey, that's cute, seem to be married. So downtown. Oh, okay. So it's not going to actually force us to go straight away. Try getting in a confident mood, blah, 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 blah. Oh, Brant's calling. People are so excited about your housewarming party. You are throwing one, right? I've hosted one or two myself. Uh, no, I've got it. It's fine. I've played this game before. I guess I do have a moodlet solver, so we could just drink it buy a bar, cook a group meal, buy a stereo. So I need to have a house or a dinner party. Didn't I say downtown? Did that like tick off? I'm confused. So she did meet a ton of Sims, like literally tons of Sims. I'm going to have her go. We'll see if Nova's home. We'll say hi to Nova. We can invite these three to the housewarming party as well. No one's home. Why? All right, we're here. Looks like someone is home. They lied to me. All right, she is here. She's out in the back cleaning the grill. I accidentally gave her the neat trait. Hi. Oh, you don't like me, Nova? I wanted us to be friends. Hi, I'm having a housewarming party. I'm new in the neighborhood. And she's like, okay, that's cool. So we've met all three of the neighbors. So we're going to go home and I'll try and buy all the things it wants me to buy. I'm a little bit worried I won't be able to afford it, to be honest. Uh, okay, so there is like a $530 bar. You guys will have heard me rant about this before if you've been on my channel for more than like five minutes. I hate bars in this game because the Sims become chronic alcoholics, then constantly needing to pee. And honestly, it's the needing to pee part I have the biggest problem with. So I've done the things they wanted me to do, but I do need to confirm we can use this. So let's make her favorite drink. I'm going to assume it's probably a wrench, given that that's what she ordered, but let's find out. Maybe she'll be like one of my Sims in Medieval. In fact, it was my bartending Sim. Her favorite drink was water. <laughs> Not even sparkling water just water was it a wrench it was a wrench well you might as well drink it nothing like some alcohol at seven o'clock in the morning oh Supriya adopted a puppy I was just having a work on her charisma to get to level two but I'm gonna go meet the puppy I also wanted it to be later in the day I don't want to have a housewarming party at like 8 a.m on a Wednesday morning that is just weird oh my goodness Supriya oh my goodness also, you have a toddler, little Evie. And we're going to say hello to your pets. Let's do a friendly introduction to Blue, a friendly introduction to Squee, and a friendly introduction to Bartholomew A. Bittlebun Senior. I, I don't like the decor in this house. It's very white. This would be a very easily fixable house, though. Oh, my goodness. There's a whole extra floor that's empty. Uh, and that's Justin. Well, we should go and say hello to our apparent bestie's husband. Hi. What do you guys do for a living? Oh, we get on cute. We might as well invite him as well. We're probably not inviting the toddler to the housewarming party because that's more than I uh, am prepared to commit to. <laughs> My work here is done. I've met the husband of the best friend, so good for me. 
I guess, and her daughter. I didn't know she had a kid. I should have adopted a stray while I was there. Now, we didn't technically have to do any of these. They are optional, but we could afford it. So I guess why not? I guess hamburger sliders is probably a good choice, right? Didn't burn the kitchen down. Good job. Start a house or dinner party. Well, it's not dinner. We can have a lunch party. That could be a thing. We'll probably do a house party, I think. We've got the bar. We also don't have a dining table. Like, this is not a dinner party house. So we're going to invite... Supriya and Justin. We're going to invite Yuku Panipo, Nova and Lewis, Nalani because I love her. I guess we should invite these two because we're actually friends with them. Oliana, she can come with Nalani. They can come over in the same cab. Kiari, this lady whose name I can't say, and Janae Price. We'll do it here at our tiny little postage stamp of a house. All right, tell jokes, listen to the stereo, have drinks, socialize with guests. She likes pop music and blues music, so I'll chuck on some pop because, you know, middle of the day boozy party. For me, this crowd says pop more than it says blues. Yeah, you need to calm down, lady. Oh, look at these two. They're actually a really cute couple. I like that they're both covered in tattoos and stuff. Lewis is out here. He's got his... F Are you okay, Lewis? There are no sims here that I want her to hook up with. I actually think in a way it would be funny to hook up with Lewis. And he, he has tried to turn over a new leaf. He's trying not to be a horrible bully anymore. All right, we need to have sims listen to the stereo at the same time. Well, that should be easily done. I mean, all I actually need to do is socialize with my guests. Oh, we're good friends now. She, I was joking about her being my bestie, but maybe we are now. I love they're having a listen party. That's actually really funny. Anyway, I was going to make drinks for everyone. Let's make apple nectar, I guess. Sure, I guess she can like mixology against my better judgment. Are you supposed to make them for everybody? That's like one. All right, well, let's talk to Lewis, I guess. Unemployed Lewis. I can't actually, I think I might've put him on the freelance IT career. I think I did actually put him on a career. I could ask. I can't actually remember. He was unemployed. Gossip about coworkers? Oh, because we are both freelance. That's why we have coworkers. Yeah, he's a freelance artist at Electrified Artists. I also am an electrified artist. Okay, so potty humor, tell a dirty joke. Why are we flirty? Who does she have a crush on? Hello, now we're talking. They get on, but they're not in crush territory. I really need to know who she has a crush on. I'm going to go through every sim. Oh, it's Justin. Oh, sweetie, no. No, we are not getting a crush on your best friend's husband. Absolutely not. Hang on, wait, Kiari's a teen? I did not realize that. I wouldn't have invited her if I'd realized that. It's fine. Don't give her any alcohol. That would be inappropriate. I can't believe she got a crush on Justin. Have Sims kiss. Make special drink. Why is it special? I don't know why the iced tea is a special drink, but that's okay. And then I might make drinks for, make one for Brandt. We'll make one for, no, Jenna's pregnant. We're not making a wrench for Jenna. I could try making drinks for everyone again. It didn't work last time is the problem. If I make a cream cola for everyone, hopefully then if the teenager has it, it won't be the end of the world. Yeah, you can drink that. I'm just curious to see what this drink is. So it's like obviously come with for rent because it's Thai. No, 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 drink it. I need to know what it does. How did you get that up there? What? I completed the scenario. <laughs> Story ending. Instant friends. How can you feel so connected to someone you've just met? It's only been a few days, but Farah has already made some really good friends. The party is over, but Farah's just gotten started, and with new beginnings come new possibilities. Perhaps she'll become a renowned party planner, a celebrated comedian, or find new love through connections she's made, or find a new job through connections she's made. I mean, to become a party planner or a comedian, she would have to find a new job, right? Will she find true love, break hearts all over town, or dance the night away with her best friends? All of the above. The next chapter in her story is yours to write. Honestly, this one compared to the other one was really quite underwhelming. I mean, it is a tutorial scenario. And they're all leaving now. I tried so hard to make a drink for everybody. Brent, you gonna hang out with me, my guy? Oh, bye. I could see that if you hadn't played The Sims before, this is a good introduction. They give you a bit more starting money. They start you with a handful of skills that mean you're not at the like complete level one in everything pauper stage of starting a career. So I can see it and I know that I'm not the intended player for this scenario, but it didn't have any kind of story to it, really. It was very much, this is how to get your sim out of the house and socializing with people, which just because I don't do it, that doesn't mean I don't know how. 
I thought about pursuing something with her and Lewis, but then the party ended. So obviously that didn't go anywhere. I like that she's in the neighborhood. It'll be cute to like see her around, but I'm not attached to her in the same way that I am to Nova because we didn't spend as much time with her. Like I said, I had heard that these scenarios were variable and I think we've just proved that. So I guess this is a, I played this scenario so you guys don't have to. If you are a long time Sims player, you could give this one a miss to be perfectly honest. Like you're not missing a lot. Other than the fact that it's an easy leg up for a new household. Uh, why is there a kid at my door? Gideon, go home. Go home. Tell Jeb I love him, but go home. <laughs> Actually, Jeb's probably still a teen too. Anyway, it's fine. I'm going to leave this one here. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you've done scenarios and you have one you think I should try next, let me know. I did see what there's one with like a couple of teens and you have the choice of like having them be good teens or bad teens basically. There was also one that involved an inheritance which sounded spicy so maybe we'll give one of those a try next. If you have enjoyed please like and subscribe all that stuff like I always say. Don't forget to wash your hands which I have said since 2020 for reasons and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.